Hello everyone, we will continue the topic transport organizer and in this video we will cover what are the various operations you can perform on transport request with the help of transport organizer and we already covered few operations like you can create transport request, you can release transport request, but we have so many operations which you can perform on transport requests with the help of transport organizer. And this video will surely, surely help you in the projects also, because in between creation of a transport request and release of a transport request, we have so many things which we can achieve through transport organizer. So we all know SC09 or SC10 is the transaction code for transport organizer. So we will go to SC09 or SC10 transaction code. So I will go to SC09 transaction code. Firstly, we will create a transport request then we will go for further operations one by one we all know we can create a transport request by using create button of transport organizer suppose i will create a workbench request i will give some development id suppose i am saying development 7 Suppose we will go for a program for subtraction of two numbers. Suppose subtraction of two numbers. I will go for save. Whenever we will go for save, SAP generated a unique transport request number. And this is the subtask under that particular request. Now, suppose you want to change the description of the transport request. Suppose you provided the wrong description to the transport request and you want to change it so that everyone can understand that this transport request is for which purpose. So just you have to do one thing. Just double click on the transport request. Go for properties tab and go for change button but the most important point is now currently the status is modifiable that's why we are able to change the description of the transport request once the transport request is released then you cannot do any changes with the transport request if the status is modifiable yes we can change the description of the transport request Suppose we provided the wrong development ID. Development ID is development 8. So we change that description and I will go for save. So if you want to change that description of that transport request, just you have to double click on that transport request, go for properties, go for change and change the description. Now we will go for further operation on that transport request and it is extremely important concept and many projects are following this approach. Suppose simple example, how project works. We received a requirement from the customer and there is a deadline for, deadline for that particular requirement. Suppose that particular requirement we have to deliver to the customer in one month. So for the one month, we will work on the development. Now many times, yes, it is the case that one single person will not work on the development. Four to five people, sometimes 10 people, sometimes six people, they together work on the development. So many project work the approach they follow. They will create a single transport request and add all the users to that transport request. Suppose simple example, five persons of a project will work on a particular development. 
suppose i am the owner i will create the transport request i will create a single transport request and i will add all other users in that transport request so for the whole one month of the development we all will share the single transport request just see it is very easy to track because after one month we only only need to keep track of a single request yes it depends upon the approach if we all will create a individual request we have to go for the track of each and every individual request but if we all are working on a common development the tasks are divided among all of us so yes we should create a single transport request and all other users or all other members of that development should be added to the same request so this is the way how this is the approach adding users to the transport request now i will show you the practical for the same and if you remember at the initial level itself when i created that transport request i told you in the future topic you will automatically get a clarity why the sub task is coming and whenever we are creating a transport request why sub task is coming simple i am my login id is adobe09 i am the owner of the request whenever i created the transport request there is a sub task with my id into this main request now i am adding other users suppose there is another team member who will work on the same to same development so how i will add his or her id to this particular request i'll simply put the cursor there is a add user button suppose that team member has the id adobe 10 you can see there is a sub task for that particular another member now suppose there is a another team member who will work on the same to same development and his or her id is adobe 11 so whenever i will do the work i will share it, i will just save into this sub tab sub task whenever they will just do the development they will save the work into their respective sub task so at the last yes i will release my sub task they will release their sub task and finally i am the owner so i will release the main task i will release the main request i will say i will release the main request just see at the end of the development we have a single single transport request and this is how project works your supervisor at the initial level will provide a transport request and mac and and four to five people will club work on to that particular transport request they will save each and everything into that transport request now what we will do i will create a program and i will save the program into this transport request then we will move further on to next operations of the transport request so we covered creation of transport request changing the description of the transport request we added the users to the transport request 